Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media and it is Father's Day weekend, so happy Father's Day to any of the fathers out there watching my videos. I'm sure there's almost none of you. I'm sure everyone's just young, young adult males. But that's besides the point. This is another episode of This Week in EDM where I'm going to go over songs that came out this week in EDM. Shocker, I know. I'm splitting them into four categories. Songs I think don't bother, don't I don't care, just don't bother with these songs. Neutral, songs that maybe you like. Uh, good listen song, I think that's a good listen regardless of your opinion or taste, and standouts, anything that's just so, so good. But, I'll give you a little hint, or not a little hint, but a little secret into this week. Uh, we got 24 tracks, a pretty bad week, not gonna lie. No standouts, and a lot of don't bothers, uh, from, from other, yeah. Yeah, so let's just jump into it. Uh, this also works as a uh, ranking, I guess. So the first song I talk about is the worst song of the week, and then the last song I talk about at the end of the video is the best song of the week. So topping it off uh, with our 24th song of the week is Downtown by Rehab and Kelvin Jones. This is literally just a good boys ripoff of a track. Uh, those vocal chops, the deep house beats, short run time, this is literally meant to imitate good boys, and I really wasn't for it. I don't think there's any reason for this track to, to exist, so that's why it's in the Don't Bother category. Up next, Another Level by Timmy Trumpet. I feel like Timmy Trumpet is just a parody of himself at this point. We've been listening to the same damn track recycled for years now. Uh, there just isn't anything new or fun about this track other than it's good for being played at festivals. So that's another level. Up next is Savior by Horrorprox Yuan and Haneri. Uh, this is just a boring trap track to me, and while that second drop is definitely a little more interesting, I thought it was uh, too sporadic and all over the place, and there were small snippets of that last drop or section that really didn't sound musical to me at all, so I was, I was not a fan of that. Up next, we have Feel by Delta Heavy and Coven. I'm not sure if I expected a lot from this uh, coming into the listening because it's Delta Heavy and Coven, uh, but this was seriously an underwhelming song to me. Uh, Katie's range was deeply underutilized and the production just felt super dry and lifeless. It didn't feel like a really good effort was put into this track at all. Up next, also in the Don't Bother category, is High Caliber by Drinks On Me and Event Horizon. I loved High Caliber's last track, but this one I just, yeah. I, I wouldn't say I hated this track, but I definitely didn't like it. To me, this thing is just boring and repetitive, and a lot of people are talking about how awesome the second drop is, but I think that's only in context to the first, because the first is just so boring, I think the second drop feels like it's, oh, here's a breath of fresh air, when I think if that first drop was both, let's say, I think people would be like, meh. I hope that makes sense. I just felt like this song was just, yeah, it was boring and it was not for me, which is a surprise, because I loved, really, really loved Drinks On Me's last track. I thought this was just, yeah. And now moving into the neutral category, uh, we've got Losing My Religion by Steve Aoki Gattuso and Acoustics featuring MKLA. It is another very average house track with not a lot going on. It's a fairly linear track and this being a quadruple collaboration, I expected a lot more to this song. Up next, VHS by Tony Romero. This was by far Tony Romero's least interesting, least interesting track I think we've heard in the last year and a bit. It's the first single for an upcoming Monster Cat album, and I'm just hoping the rest of the track list isn't as lax as this one is. I've, uh, it's got that kind of Tony Romero funk to it that I enjoy quite a bit, but other than that, it was very meh to me. Next up, we have The Drum by Kirby and Mike Cervello. Uh, this is a very intriguing track from these two, uh, but it really wasn't a hit for me. It felt like a little too chaotic in some sections and without any real semblance of melody, and it, ra it ended rather abruptly. So it just felt a little off to me, and I understand why people would like this one, so that's why it's in the neutral category. Up next is Remember by Becky Hill and David Guetta. I've been very impressed with unimpressed uh, with popular EDM artists like David Guetta recently. Uh, all the tracks just sound the same thing over and over again, and I'm really just not loving that. So while this followed that kind of idea where it just sounds like the same thing we've been hearing for the last couple years, it was well produced and it's not as egregious as I think as some of the other tracks are. 
Up next, We Are the People, the Martin Garrix remix, originally by Martin Garrix, Bono, and The Edge. So this is essentially a Martin Garrix VIP of the original, and while this was a very anthematic, uplifting track, it's very boring and linear. And to think that Martin Garrix was once an icon in EDM for his kind of cool, new age sounds... Uh, this is this whole thing's boring, and I think it's just become a kind of pop EDM icon at this point, rather than like a someone that all the EDM artists really want to strive to be. Up next is Basement by Nervo. This is another just okay house track, but with lyrics that didn't really make a whole ton of sense to me. Uh, I'm honestly just getting really tired of the bland house music right now in EDM, and I just don't want more tracks like this or David Guetta's or Tony Ramirez and. Yeah, I just, I want to stay away from, the house is just taking over right now, at least this week was, and so I just don't want to hear more of that right now. Uh, up next is Lost by Fool. Uh, this is a new synth chill track, uh, and it's pretty good, uh, but it does have a real lack of dynam dynamicism throughout the runtime. Keeps a fairly level head, which is something we don't actually hear from Fool a whole ton. So I expected this to have some more ebbs and flows, but it didn't really. Up next is Louder Than Words by Pendulum and Hybrid Minds, uh, the first Pendulum project to drop in what felt like a decade. It's a short four-track EP, and this song, Hybrid Minds, is a very basic drum and bass track. The track felt like Pendulum had kind of lost their signature drive and volatility for a lot more of a calmer demeanor. And that last drop was definitely more interesting, but overall was a very average drum and bass song, especially for Pendulum. Up next is Comatose by Saint Punk. Same Punk is here with another Deep House cut with a jarring twist to it. The song is a lot more in your face than his last couple, and for some people that do love that, this track is for you. I myself personally didn't quite hit for me as much as I would have liked to, as much as it would like to have. Yeah, my English. Hitting the top 10 now, we're still in neutral category, but we've got uh, Octopussy by Gasly. Uh, Gasly's out with a new four track EP, and while I hadn't listened to the rest of the project, I thought I would give one of the songs a go, and this was one that popped up in my release radar, so that's what we're gonna talk about. I thought it was a fairly nice track. It was a glitchy dubstep track with a melodic finale, and while it wasn't for me, I can see how people would greatly enjoy this. And maybe with a little tuning here and there, I would have actually really enjoyed this track. Up next, New James Dean by Cascade and Tishmal. Uh, with these two similar artworks going back to back weeks with this one, and I can't remember the name of the last week or two weeks ago, um, my guess is this is going to be some bigger project, an EP or an album, we'll have to see. But this is a laid back lounge ha house track with a very relaxing atmosphere. I thought Tishmal's uh, vocals were clean and the production was pretty smooth. We are now moving into the good listens category. Songs I think is a good real good listen regardless of your opinion on genre or taste. We've got Back Together by Paper Skies Halls and Beatcore featuring Veronica Bravo. Uh, this felt like a fairly cookie cutter melodic dub step track. So in that sense, I thought it was okay. But on the other hand, it was executed quite well. And uh, it's not the greatest mellow dub track I've ever heard, but it was definitely good and well produced. Up next is Salvation by Excision and Dion Timmer, featuring uh, Alexis Dawn. For collaboration between these two, I did not expect this track to be so light and almost bright. I expected some destructive drops, but instead got a nice halftime style drop with some nice high synths. I said nice a lot in that. <laughs> uh, it was surprisingly... Uh, yeah, it was surprisingly good and had a super kind of uplifting tonality to it that I did not expect from these two. Uh, I did enjoy it. Up next, Daydream Die by Tani Leax. Uh, for a very poor week of Monster Cat releases, I would have, I was shocked that this new artist coming in with less than 20,000 monthly listeners on Spotify would have the best track on Monster Cat for me this week. But damn, this thing is a solid Deep House track uh, with a semi-nostalgic vibe to it. Uh, this was a solid debut and first listen of mine to this artist. So I'm excited to see more and take a deeper dive into their older discography. Hitting the top, top, top five for this week, top, 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 uh, we have Tuna Melt by Ford, sorry, Mord Fustang. Uh, I don't listen to a lot of Mord Fustang, but this track, I felt like I, I kind of needed to listen to more of him. Uh, it's fun and funky and feels like a breath of fresh air. It may be a short track, but it doesn't really let up at any point along the way, and so I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Up next, Party Every Day, the Drop Tech remix, originally by Also and High Maintenance. Uh, I think this is one of the better drop tech tracks I've heard in some time. 
I have never listened to the original, but it, this is a very driven DNB track with some solid sound design. I was a pretty big fan. Hitting the top three, the bronze of the week goes to Luna, the Manila Killer remix, originally by Casbo, featuring Vancouver Sleep Clinic. Uh, Luna was one of my favorite tracks on this album, and what I think made it so good was the ups and downs of the track. So while this remix kind of removes those ebbs and flows, it's a pretty average, or better than average, I'd say, uh, garage-style track. Uh, and yeah, I don't think I would ever really go back and listen to this over the original, but it was a great playlist filler to me, and I really do like the kind of trip-chill garage style, so that's why it's so high for me, even though I said I wouldn't listen to it over the original. Up next, Colors Part 2 by Mr. Fijiwiji and Chase. Uh, I'm a huge Fiji fan, and this is yet another solid track from him. His dark, cinematic, trip-chill tracks resonate really well with me, just like the last track kind of did. And this isn't one of his more adventurous tracks, but I still greatly enjoyed it. And finally, the top track of this week in EDM, I think, is Time Warp by Apache, featuring Sammy Chowki. Uh, Apache is really good at his production of this kind of cla of this gritty electronic sound with an orchestral twist. Even though I felt like I've heard this kind of sound design from him before, Apache always finds a way to keep it really refreshing. And it's really nice to hear the kind of similar style, but how each track is very different from one another year after year. Uh, this cut is a more lower frequency focused than I think I've heard from him in the past, and I was a big fan of this track. So that was this week in EDM. Let me know what you guys think of the tracks. Uh, was there anything I missed this week that came out that you were like, oh, I, sh I should have had in this video? Leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. My name is Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.